Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I thought that I'd show you this new scan tool that I have been using for my Volvo. So this scanner tool is from King Bolan and it is the Eriag Elite which is their more affordable model. It is quite cheap for what it does. It also comes with lifetime free updates. So inside the box we do have a nice casing for the OBD2 scanner. And this is the actual scanner that we will be testing today. And we also have a manual for how to activate the scanner tool. And this is the QR code that we need to scan to activate the device. So we'll scan this code and we'll download the app to start working with the OBD2 scanner. And now we'll plug the diagnostics tool in the OBD2 port. And green means it's connected. So I open up the app and scroll through the list of brands until I find Volvo. I tap on download and it installs almost instantly and once it's ready I open up the Volvo module and from here I can search for my exact vehicle instead of entering everything manually I just chose automatic search and the scanner identifies my car on its own with the car now being detected I get three options health report system scan and system selection I start with the health report to check for any fault codes. It scans through all the modules and in this case everything comes back clean. Next I go back to the system selection and scroll through the list. The Ediac Elite can access a lot of systems but I won't go through every single one in this video. Just a few useful examples so it doesn't get too long. I start with the BMS, the battery management system. Here you can reset the battery after replacement and you can also check the current battery records which is what I opened. Inside the current records I scroll through the values. You can see the voltage, the charging status, and a lot of helpful battery information. Next, I go back to the menu and open up the ABS system and go straight into the live data stream. Here, I select a few useful readings, wheel speeds, vehicle speed, inside temperature, brake status and brake disc temperatures. Now I start driving and you can see the data being updated live as the car moves. Now back in the menu, I go into the DIM, the driver information module. Under the special functions, you can reset the service reminder from here. Then I check the DIM data stream. I select last service time, odometer storage, and fuel level, and confirm to read the values. The fuel level and odometer readings are accurate, but the last service time is completely off more than 2500 days ago, so the module clearly has some strange stored data. Now I go back to the system selection again and choose the ECM, the engine control module. I go straight into the live data stream. Here I select engine cooling fan status, engine oil temperature, mass airflow, and engine speed. The 
the data updates instantly and I give the engine a small rev so you can see the values reacting in real time. After checking these modules, I'll work my way back to the main menu again. Overall, the app is easy to navigate, responsive and gives you quick access to a lot of useful diagnostics. From here, I'll switch back to the main video to wrap things up. And once we're done with the diagnostics, we'll take the scanning tool out. Alright guys, so a lot of you have been asking about the BMS reset and service reset. And yes, the scanning tool does both. For the price, it honestly does more than I expected. Uh, you get the basic maintenance stuff plus the more advanced functions too. So if you work on your car at home like I do, this is a really solid tool to have. And if you're interested in this product, I will also be putting the link in the description below. And if you have any questions about this video, then please put them in the comments below. And as always, please like and subscribe. Thanks.